Hello everybody, my name is Kashi and welcome back to the dumpster fire you all know and love. LOL, you're forced to be here because you know I would cry otherwise. I've also made a list today of why I've been crying. Uh, number one, my cat walked away when I was talking to her. Reason number two, she swatted at me for touching her even though she laid down next to my arm in bed. And reason number three, I cried because I saw Photoshop pictures of cats crying and that really gets to me. Okay, I didn't actually cry today, but like, do you expect anything less from me? Now you're sitting there wondering if I actually did cry or not. While I'm sitting here, hyped up on caffeine and ready to play this awesome fucking game. So if you haven't watched the first episode, why are you here? Go back. Anyways, we are playing a game called Diner in the Rain, where it's basically the end of the world. There are storms all over the world. There are suddenly eruptions in places that have no volcanoes. And it is storming out. So we are at a diner trying to outweigh the storm, which lo and behold is not stopping. We've met Grandma Maggie, who I love and adore. We've also met the schizophrenic Ethan and his girlfriend, who is very angry because she let a loser jizz in her. And now she is Pregante, and he was like, hey, I offered an abortion, which is not something you should tell your girlfriend when she's already fed up with you. We also met an influencer who, oh my god, wants to talk to us. Juan, who thinks that we should only bring people who are useful. And an old man named Casper who tells us basically he's not long for this world and we're like, hold the fuck up. Are you the reason why there's aliens here? Yeah, there's fucking aliens out here that are like giants because we saw a giant eyeball when we were talking to him. Anyways, I looked it up. There's seven endings to this game. We got one and three in which both cases we died. But you know what? I want to try to get all the endings. So one, the first ending, we walked out and were never heard from again. Second ending that we got, which was the third ending, we got Juan originally to be like, yeah, I'll go with you as long as you bring people who are useful. So we got the influencer and the other girl and he was like, hold the fuck up. I do not want to be part of this sex traffic ring. And we're just like, uh, Dude, I have a truck, and one of them has a phone which has a GPS. Regardless, we lost Juan. Also, dear Maggie is just, I'm not leaving the diner if anyone stays behind, which makes me think we're not going to get her whatsoever because Casper is going to stay behind. But who knows? So basically, I'm going to play up to the point where we are going to make a decision that last time we decided to lock the door because I'm not going to make you sit through that again. So one second. LOL. Okay, I totally forgot that we get a choice right now to get brownie points with Ethan. So we got to have this conversation again. Edith, I can't believe this rain. Did you remember to check the weather this morning? Listen, Ethan didn't even remember to take his meds this morning. Do you really expect him to check the weather? I I don't know. I think I did. Maybe. But come on. It's not that bad. Just relax. We can stay here for as long as we want. As long as we keep buying things. Hey, man. Did you see anything freaky in the skies on the way here? Ugh. This again? No, really. I saw something huge and like flickery right before the storm started. Well, I saw it anyways. She was stuck on her phone. Okay, so I think before we answered, you saw something in the skies. Uh, there's, you've got quite the imagination there, son. And well, if you ever need me to take aim at it, just ask. I feel like if we do that, because of his personality, he'd be like, no, they're friends. Let's do it anyways. 
Well, man, you a cop or something? I'm on the road a lot. It pays to be prepared. Don't you believe in, like, peace? Yes, but there's a lot of bad people out there who don't. But what if you meet, like, outer space aliens, but they're friendly? I called it. As long as they mean no harm, then aliens or not, they're fine to me. You're all right, man. Okay, cool. We got a brownie point with him. All right. Again, gonna skip so that I can get to the point where we have to make the decision with the door. Which I'm probably gonna die because I'm gonna let whatever's out there in. So one second, y'all. All right, I said I was going to do the door, but then I realized I have to talk to our schizo again and make another choice. Regardless of what I do, I'm pretty sure I'm going to piss off Edith. Well, not me piss her off, but Ethan piss her off. <sighs> My dude just can't win. But basically, he's like, do you hear that? Uh, just ignore him. No, can't you hear the whispering? It seems quieter in here to me now that the TV's off. The TV isn't off. Yes, it is. Noah, right? Please tell Ethan he's just hearing things. No, it's on. I'm telling ya. I think it must be picking up on the aliens. Okay. If we say calm down and drink some water... He basically, t I, I think he'll tell us that, you know, we don't believe him. So we're going to say, what's the TV showing? Awesome. Two stars. Oh, the TV is nothing. He just thinks he can hear things. It's big and curious and no, it's nothing. Take your meds. I can hear something from your belly too. Uh, so basically, I have to choose the battle. I feel like Ethan would be harder to get stars from. And I feel like his girlfriend is easier. But regardless of our choices, I think they're going to separate. Like, I think she's going to leave the table. Shut up. I offer to pay for the procedure. What more do you want from me? Ethan, buddy... Uh, it's not about the baby. It's nothing. I don't want anything from you anymore. Peace out. All right, we've got to talk to our dude again. Son, the TV's still on. Okay, is he going to say the same thing? What's it showing now? An eye. Big, cold, and with too many corners. Okay, that one was new because last time I offered him a glass of water. And I? That's weird. It's talking, too. Oh, did, did, did the screen just flicker? What's it telling us? It's not. It's not talking? No, it's not talking to us. You wouldn't talk to an ant, after all. I mean, I might. I mean, you probably do, you schizo. Can you at least make sense of what you're hearing? Sorta, of, but I don't think it likes it when I listen too closely. Hmm. Listen to it anyways. You might pick up something interesting, or probably better that you don't listen too closely to strange sounds. We really shouldn't be convincing him to listen to the voices. We should be giving his, him his meds, but eh, listen. All right, man, uh, very roughly, I think it's trying to say, it's trying to say, you know, I think, hello, friend, what you doing? Why does this look like the symbol from Digimon, the movie? All right, Ethan, um, well, we pissed it off. You know, something like that. Oh, Seems legit. Ethan looks more clear-headed than usual. Alright. I think we need to make... 
Okay. Uh, the door is not shaking yet. Hey, girl. What do you want? Hmm. I think last time we said Ethan was out of line. Uh, are you okay? No, my mama's right about him. Okay, we gotta star regardless. What did she say about him? That he's immature, he's goofing off, even when things are serious. Okay, we can go, yeah, he is, maybe he's right, or what did you see him see in him in the first place? I'm gonna go, maybe he's right, and hope I don't lose stars with her. But so what if he's right? I'm scared, and all he wants to talk about is this crazy alien theory. I feel like I'm talking to a kid. Okay, but maybe if you told him you were scared and asked for reassurance, like maybe he doesn't realize that that's another reason why you're upset. What did you see in him in the first place? What did I see in him? Hmm. Edith is deep in thought. Okay. Uh, the door was shaking at one point. Okay. Are, are we not going to get that now? It's nice that you're making rounds with the customers here. Looks like a few of them are still having something on their mind. You can talk with everyone else as well as I can. Nah, son, my back hurts. But I'm not the hero who got the lights back on, son. Alright, whatever. Hey, girl. Thank you for fixing the power. Do you think there'll be enough power to charge my phone? Okay, we've already had this conversation. Basically, she's like, Oh, my friends are having updates. Uh, did I make the... No, I, th I think I'm going to keep that choice. That's not possible. So basically, she's like, I have friends on all continents. And we're like, maybe it was a solar flare. To which she's telling us that, no, the satellite Wi-Fi is fine. And basically tells us that, no, there's no volcanoes there. And now there's a bunch of lava. And we're like, well, he's probably deep fried and crispy. Can I talk to you again? Hey, Bruna, do you know a place called Ho Hope Springs? Which is apparently where they're making a barricade. If we're the size of ants, I don't think a barricade's gonna stop it. So she tells us that, yeah, it's on top of a mountain. I think it would be safer there with everything that's going on. Now that you say it, some of my friends living in high elevations areas seem to be doing okay. All right, but I don't know if it's a good idea to drive there in this heavy rain. I mean, I have a big rig. Bruno's busy with her phone. Her face is locked in a frown as she scrolls. That's fine. Uh, do I need to talk to Ethan again? Okay, no, I need to talk to Juan. Hey, bud. Okay, so basically Juan tells us that he's really good with carpentry. We tell him that we're a jack of all trade. And apparently he's a mechanic. Okay, I, th I think... Okay, so yeah, he just tells us to keep a sharp eye on who's useful. You hear scratching of a door! Yes! I knew it was a matter of time. We're gonna die. We're going to die. You hear scratching behind the door. Open the door? Hold on. What are you doing? I'm checking out what's causing this noise. Well, don't just open the door like that. You don't know what's behind it. Yeah, well, I want to see if I get, like, ending two or, you know, the other five we didn't get. Now there, if it's a customer, I can't well turn them away. Oh, Maggie, you're so sweet. If it was a customer, they'd come in from the front. I have to agree. It doesn't sound like it's a person. Nah, man. I can tell the door is cool. It's all good if you open it. Ethan. You know what? We're gonna open the door. Wait, hold up. Alright. It's a puppy! Yay! Look at 
got him. He's adorable. Doggy. My goodness. Got lucky this time. You didn't know what was out there. Could have been dangerous. Nah, the door wasn't dangerous. It's the windows you gotta watch out for. Windows? I don't see a damn thing out there. Yup. Alright, that happened again. Son of a... Rain starts pouring in. Okay, now we gotta check out the window and he's gonna be like, oh, it got sucked out from outside. And we're gonna be like, oh, that's weird. Oh no, was anyone hurt? I'm all good here, but there's something weird about this. Yeah, buddy, this whole thing is weird. What do you mean? Can't you see it? Broken glass is all outside, like it was sucked out. How's that possible? Ethan. It's getting hungry. Ethan! I can fix this. Pass me a tablecloth and a chair. Here. Should be some nails and a hammer in there. That'll work. Come on, Noah. I'm gonna say we need to get out of here soon. No point in patching things up now. <sighs> what? And you're just gonna leave the place broken? Fine, we'll help fix the window. You help with fixing the window. S sorta. Could have done a better job if I had my steel rip claw hammer with me, but this should hold up, I think. Actually, I'm not sure what even broke this window in the first place. Don't see a branch or rock or anything. Okay, you just said it looked like it got sucked out. So how would a rock or a branch do that? Makes me kind of uncertain about staying here and all. What plans you got, trucker? I'm probably going to leave soon. Yeah, I'm pretty handy with a compass and map. Wait, how many people are you planning on taking? Only who's ever is useful. Mm, you know what? I'm going to see what happens if just him and I peace out. Good. Got to pick your company carefully in a scenario like this. So, are you coming with? Can't stay here. I'm coming with. Alright, you know what? What if we just peace out? Leave Donna or stay locked up? We're going to leave the diner. You get ready to exit the diner. You exit the diner. With Juan. Okay. You check your maps for a place called Hope Springs. Even though your maps are outdated, Juan helps you chart out a path. The storm makes it difficult to find your way, and the road signs are illegible. But Juan helps keep you headed in the right direction. While driving... Juan points out something impossibly large quickly approaching your truck. You floor the vehicle, and you feel something trying to claw at it, but you barely manage to make it away. You finally arrive at the Hope Springs Stronghold, where a number of other survivors are gathered. The stronghold is more like a makeshift camp, but Juan's carpentry expertise provide everyone with sturdier shelter. The stronghold rations are stale and cold. There's enough to survive on, but barely. The end, ending number four, bare minimum. I'll take it. <laughs> Yoo! Okay, so that means we have four more. Let's try to get a second ending before I call it. All right, so we got yet another ending. This time we didn't die, but we also didn't save anyone besides Juan. So now comes the tricky part. Can we get everyone out, including Juan? So that means I need to do a speed run. I need to get stars with everyone. I think, I think Juan is going to have to be at the end. Because if I can get everyone and then be like, yo, I'm bringing everyone, I might be able to peer pressure him. So, I'm going to quickly speed run. I'm not going to make you guys sit through all that. Though I may have to show a little bit before that. Because somehow, I need to convince Edith and Ethan to not so much get back together, but at least be able to tolerate being in each other's presence. Because right now, Edith wants nothing to do with him. 
And like we learned last time, if you only invite her, you can't turn around and be like, oh, well, JK, Ethan, you're coming with us. So let me get the influencer on board and we'll try to poke and prod Edith and Ethan to work together. All right, now we gotta talk to Edith and try to get brownie points with her. Hmm. Are you okay or Ethan was out of line? I think, I think it doesn't really matter what we say at first. So let's go with, Mm, are you okay? No, my mom was right about him. Okay, we got a star. Cool. What did she say about him? That he's immature. He's goofing off even when things are serious. Hmm. Hmm. Probably gonna shoot myself in the foot, but no because I feel like last time I said maybe he's right and she was like who cares so yeah he is cool once we leave this place I'm gonna break up with him okay okay that's all you're gonna say okay uh let's check on you thank you for fixing the power Okay, she's going to talk about wanting her phone. We need to basically talk to her about everything that's going on in the world. She's going to point out that her friends have been posting weird shit and then all of a sudden they're going offline. So basically we got to, I think we got to get three starts with her. Okay, we're going to talk to her about Hope Springs again. She's going to tell us it's near here. Okay, cool. Three. Okay. He's going to basically tell us the same thing of I'm not leaving. Make sure everyone's happy. And basically like, oh, but I'm not, I'm not the hero. Okay, so we got we to gotta talk to Maggie again. And she's basically going to tell us the same story. Uh... Mm, I don't think I've tried this one. Free dinner from a pretty lady. Count me in. <laughs> Darling, you're about 30 years too young for me. But I know men of all ages enjoy a good hearty meal. Okay, cool. Talk to her again. Okay, we're going to ask her to cook. She's going to tell us her story again. Basically, we've got to keep buttering her up. And what are you doing here? She's going to be like, oh, a handsome waiter gave me a food truck. And it's just like, the food truck kept breaking down, but if she kept going on walks with him, he would fix it and that she knew it was rigged, but they fell in love anyways. People do weird things when they're in love, dude. What can I say we really... Hmm. All right, four stars. Okay, I think we need to talk to... Can I talk to you again? Okay, no. I think I need to talk to Juan. Okay, got one star. He's like the hardest to get. I can't remember if his difficulty was hard or not. Yep. All right. Then we got to do the door again, which we've already done. We're going to know that it's a dog. I, I, mm, I feel like we lose a point with Ethan if we don't. Or maybe we lose a point with Juan. I don't know. My main objective this time is to get everyone open the door. We're going to find out that it's a doggy. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. 
everyone's happy. Okay, yeah. We didn't lose a star. That was all I was concerned about was losing the star. <sighs> Gotta go check out the window. They're gonna be like, oh, everything's freaking weird. All right. He's gonna tell us that it looks like it was sucked out, but then it's like, oh, but there's no tree branches or rocks, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, okay, if we say no patching it up, he'll just be like, oh, you want to leave it a mess? And it's just like, if it's the end of the world, who cares? Could have done better, I think. I'm not sure I've broke it. Uh, as, mm, as many as I can. Uh, it's my rig, it's my... They'll carry their own weight, don't worry. I guess you've been talking with them more than me. We can cross-train each other so we're all ready for whatever is in the next town. So are you coming with? Come on, please, please, you have three stars. Hell yeah! Can't stay here, I'm coming with. Okay, okay, cool, cool. We got everyone on board. Old man's not coming. Are you coming with? Oh, offer some food. You place some of your leftovers in front of the dog. She wolfs it down hungrily. Uh, pet the dog. You pet the dog. Yay. She seems to like it. Uh, I'm going to come with me. He's going to be like, nope, I'm not long for this world. Uh, okay. Get everyone... Okay. She's like, oh, we have food and internet. And it's like, uh, hmm. I, I can't remember if we have to say who's left or that's a risky gamble. Mm, who's left to tell us anything? My friends will, of course, once they, if they get back online. Okay. Okay. We got her. Hell yeah. Okay, now we just gotta get... Okay, we'll, we'll figure you out afterwards. Oh. We need to leave as long as the customers. Okay. Okay. We gotta, we gotta do this carefully. We gotta get Ethan first. Uh, how are you feeling? Head's kind of pounding, but the whispers are easier. Okay, what happened between you and Edith? We already know, but tell me anyways. It's just a disagreement. She'll come around. Um, that's one approach, I guess. No, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try the other one. Okay, no, she won't, not without an apology from you. What's with you, man? You trying to be my dad? Look, I get that you're scared. I'm trying to help you avoid a big mistake. I don't care if you stay in your kid's life. I don't care if you break up with Edith. Just look her in the eye and tell her directly what you decided. What? Scared? Who isn't scared right now? Right. You're you, Mr. Hero. You're not scared of anything. Hmm. You know what? I do get scared. I once got so scared, I hit the road and never stopped running. But over these long years, I've learned. Courage isn't the absence of fear, it's the ability to act despite it. Uh, what shared you so bad? You know what? Share the past. The angry father of a girl I was fooling around with. God damn it. You're just saying that. I'd give a lot to be lying. Why are you telling me this? Uh, tell them we're leaving. I'm leaving, and I'd like both you and Edith to come, but you need to make peace first. Aw, okay, please don't lose a star, please. He has very hard difficulty. Okay, man, I, I'll trust you on this one. I'll make peace. 
Hell yes. Okay, now we just got to get Edith. Hey, sweetie. Are you hitting the road soon? Yes. Is Ethan going with you? Yes. What? Why? He's useless. He's got a pretty good intuition for things, and he can help warn us if something's out there in the fog. Ugh, now you also believe there's something out there trying to eat us? Go, take him. I'm staying. Edith, no! Come on. Edith does not. You know what? Fuck it. We're, we're just, we're, we're gonna go without her, okay? We're just, hey bud, we're leaving. We're gonna leave those two behind. Leave the diner. I wonder if us staying is going to be an ending. I feel like it's going to be. But the other ending that I can think of is all of us going. And that would only bring us to six. So I don't know how to get to the seventh. Get ready to exit the diner. Hold up. What's with all these people? I told you beforehand that I'm bringing as many as I can with me. You're bringing an influencer girl and a stoner? How are they going to help? Bruna still has internet and her GPS can help. Ethan has some surprisingly good instincts, as you might have noticed. Hmm. All right, that sounds good enough. Oh, hell yes. Thank you, Juan. I thought I was going to have to beat him with a chair. You exit the diner with Bruna, Ethan, and Juan. Bruna and Juan chart a route with you to Hope Springs. The storm makes it difficult to find your way, and the road signs are illegible. But Bruna's GPS tracks every twist and turn. While driving, Ethan suddenly shouts, Step on it, man. It's coming. You don't question him and go as fast as you can without crashing. In your back mirror, you see a vague glimpse of an impossibly large shadow in the distance. Ethan calms down soon after. You finally arrive at Hope Springs Stronghold, where a number of other survivors are gathered. The stronghold is more of a makeshift camp. Wait, what? We got the... Okay, we got the same ending. Good God, I don't know if I'm going to get the other endings. I mean, I'll try. I'll try grabbing Edith first. And try grabbing everyone again but i don't know if i'm actually gonna get all seven and at this point i don't know if i'm invested enough to try but you know what we got two endings yeah they're the same but hey we made different choices and saw how to get stars with different people so i'm gonna call it there for this episode and next time we're going to try to get a different ending and if not well then I guess that is it for the series. So if you don't see a part three within a few days, well, assume this is just a two-parter. Because again, it's a good game, okay? Surprisingly good. I just don't know if I'm that invested. So everybody, if this is going to be a two-parter, I'm going to say goodbye for now. If not, it is a see you next time. So as always, Keep it salty, keep it real, and I may see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.